Well, hello, scientists. It's Scientist Cynthia here. Welcome back to Chapter 2, Lesson 2. Today, we will start practicing your visualizing. Remember that we are investigating this question. Is there a pattern to the weather that we can use to make predictions? As meteorologists, we are trying to understand if patterns of weather might help us predict future weather. This can help us select the best island for the orangutan reserve. This book is about what numbers can tell us about the world, especially the weather. Understanding and organizing numbers can help us find patterns. So far in this unit, we've been looking at a lot of numbers, temperatures, measurements of precipitation, and data about orangutans. It's important for meteorologists to understand what different numbers mean and how to organize numbers so that they can look for patterns. Before reading, I want you to think about the things you already know. What do you agree or disagree with? As I read each of these sentences, you can give yourself a thumbs up or a thumbs down for agree or disagree, or feel free to write down your thinking. I am gonna write mine as I go. Here's the first sentence. The same number can mean different things. Second sentence. Finding the highest number and the lowest number in a group of numbers can help you see a pattern. Sentence number three. There is no way to describe the weather for one month because it's going to be different every day. The fourth sentence. The weather in the month of May is the same everywhere. And the last sentence, if I know the temperature for each day in one month, I can use this information to predict future weather. Okay, hopefully you wrote all your agrees and disagrees down. Now, I want you to look very closely. This is an example of understanding numbers by visualizing what they mean. Look at this image. What does this mean? I bet you've already said it. This is the number two. Now let's read this sentence. My brother ate two sandwiches at lunch today. Notice the meaning has changed. Two now means the number of sandwiches my brother ate. Are you visualizing anything now? Again, notice the change of this number. In this sentence, it says, it's only two degrees Fahrenheit. Two now means the degrees Fahrenheit on a thermometer. When we read each sentence, you probably visualized or made a picture in your mind of what the number two meant. You might have pictured two tasty sandwiches, or when we read two degrees, maybe you pictured a thermometer or envisioned yourself bundled up in a big coat in a cold, snowy place. As we get ready to read this book, you are going to visualize what the numbers in the book mean and what they communicate about the world. For example, as I read, I can visualize what the different numbers mean. On the first page it says, when you first see a number, it can look just like lines on a page. But as you start to learn where different numbers come from and what they mean, they can help you learn more about the world. What do you think this number says about the world? I can see the page on the left and then that picture on the right. When I read 128 centimeters on page four, I was not sure what the number meant, but when I looked at page five, it helped me make a picture in my mind of what that means to me. When I think about 128 centimeters, I picture the height of someone smaller than an adult, but bigger than a preschool student. I also remember that orangutans are between 120 and 132 centimeters tall. So 128 centimeters is about the same height as an adult orangutan. Now, as I read, remember, you are gonna visualize what the numbers in the book mean and specifically what they communicate about the world. Our next video will be of our book and then we'll continue our lesson after that. See you then.